Hi everyone. When a client gives you quantitative data and they want help with the analysis, um, and that file contains some numeric columns, um, occasionally they'll have errors and issues with them that you need to clean up. This video covers how to do that in R. So we'll start by getting this data file into R. Um, and in this case, it's a CSV, so we'll use the read.csv function in the utils package, and we uh, will take the result of this um, reading in the CSV and store it in this object that I'm calling customer A data. So I'll highlight this all, hit run, and you'll see up here that it was read in. It's got 20 observations or rows and six uh, variables or columns. So I'll click on that to preview it. We can't change any of these data, but we're able to see them here. Um, and we can see that it's got these six columns here. One of the things that you'll wanna do, uh, in addition to just viewing it here and making sure that everything seems to have read in correctly, is to take a look at the structure of the file. So we'll type in str parentheses, and we'll start writing out the name of this object, customer A data, RStudio helps us by finishing that or suggesting the rest of that. And then we'll hit enter. And we can see that again, some of the same information that was up here, um, but this is a data frame and that's important to note. Uh, a data frame is the data type for this object. Uh, it's the most common data type you'll be using when you're doing analysis. So when you read in a data file, whether it's a CSV, Excel file, SPSS file, you'll just wanna make sure that it's a data frame because more often than not, that's what you're gonna to wanna to use. Um, another thing that we'll wanna point out here is that the first column is an integer. It's the ID um, column, and that's an integer. The name column is a character column or text. Uh, age here is also character, even though I'll pretend here like I expected it to be numeric because you probably do most of the time if somebody gives you an age column or an age variable, um, you're probably expecting for it to be numeric. Um, and this is one of the things that you'll want to note. Whenever this happens, uh, the culprit is usually because somebody typed in something. So they might have typed in an I don't know, or in this case, they've written in 72. And the moment that happens, when R reads it in, it has no choice but to label this as a character column or a text column. Um, so you can no longer do things like calculate an average or the minimum or the maximum. Uh, and for this video, we will be fixing this age column because ultimately we want this to be numeric, but it's not read in that way because somebody put in text. So we need to clean this up. And that's what this video is about. So there are lots of tools available to fix columns um, in R. And one of the things that I do often is I will load in this package called dplyr. It has a lot of helpful functions in it. And so I will use that for this video. And so um, I have already installed dplyr on this computer, so I can just use the library function and type in dplyr. That will load the package so that I'm able to use all the functions within it. I'll highlight this and then run it. And so now I'm able to use any of the functions inside of that package. So before I go about changing it, I wanna see what are the values inside of that. So as we saw before, we previewed it here and um, because this is not a very big data file I can just see all the values here and I can see that the culprit for making this um, a character column was this 72 we also see that there are some other problems um, let's assume that we you know this 324 is uh, an error and so we will eliminate that and make that missing instead and then this 546 will eliminate that and make that missing also but if you had a data file that had a lot of um, values a lot more rows um, and you wouldn't be able to just sort of scroll and you want to kind of capture a distribution of that to see what you're dealing with you could use this table function that is in the base package which um, comes loaded by default with R so you don't have to do a library you know base uh, function here um, to be able to load this package so we'll say base table and then it's a data frame so we will put in the data frame, the name of the data frame here, and then use the dollar sign to identify the variable that we care about. So when we're doing this, we're saying, give us all of the values, give us a table of all the values for this age column. And so even if this consisted of, you know, thousands of records, you'd be able to produce a table and you'd be able to visually inspect it and see which ones are the problem. So again, we want to fix the 72. We'll just change that to 72 in digit format. 
uh, and then we'll eliminate the 324 and we'll eliminate the 546 and we'll assume that we don't know what those should be so we'll make those missing instead so there are two functions we'll use from the dplyr package first one is called mutate and we use that to change column values um, or create new columns and so we'll say mutate and we'll have to give it the data frame that we were talking about here in this case it's customer a data we'll create a new age column that we'll call age clean and then um, we want that to equal the result of and then I will say uh, dplyr the other function we're going to use is recode and recode allows us to take specific values and change them into other values and so um, this is what I typically do when I have a problem like this where a column that's supposed to be numeric is stored as text I first fix the problematic records or the problematic values like this one um, but I retain the text characteristic of it so I will recode 72 into 72 inside of quotes which will make that a character and once I've got that done then I will go ahead and convert this text column into numeric so I'll show you how that's done so I'll take this original problematic data because that's the one I want to recode and that's what I put in the recode function and then I can need to tell it what old values um, will equal what new values so I'll say 72 and you need to type it out exactly um, and say 72 equal and then in quotes again 72 now I can't say 72 like this because this is a number but this um, this new column that I'm making um, will recode this but then it will retain all these other values which are text so there will be a problem you can't store both text and numbers in the same column and you'll see what I mean here so let's say um, I wanted to create a new I'm going to be updating this data frame by adding this new column here and then storing it back into this same object name um, so if I run that here it says oh here's a problem and so the reason for this is because I tried to make it numeric even though the column all, all these other values are technically text so if instead I go like this and I start by making all the fixes to the text and then I run this you'll see that I got no error and then again good practice to take a look at your data file so I look at the structure of this again the data frame and then I'll see that this age clean is also a character I'll see that these initial values are identical so that's good um, and I can also peek into this through the preview and here's age and here's age clean and if we look at 72 in text we see 72 here so this age clean is still a text column but now the 72 was fixed and that's great and um, let's go ahead and now let's make this age clean column a uh, numeric column and so I'll do dplyr r mutate again because we're trying to manipulate a column within that we're trying to change uh, values for a column here so I'll give it the same data frame and then I'll say age clean is equal to and now I can actually use this age clean variable from before because after this step we see that we have a new column in here called age clean that has text values so I'll say age clean and then there's a function that you can use um, called as dot numeric meaning to make this a numeric column and so um, and that's from the base package also so I'll say as dot numeric age clean so here what I'm saying is take the age clean column which we know because we've done this before and we just took a look at that it's a character column right here it's text and transform all these values into numeric and now because they are uh, they do have numeric representations so like 28 um, those are numbers when I tell it to make it as numeric um, it will in fact make this a 28 a 24 a 23 a 45 and because that 72 that was text you know written out 72 with letters um, is now 72 with numbers um, when it converts it that value will be retained instead of you know if you tell it to make a text column that says the word 72 
for a value it says you know 72 spelled out and you tell it to make it numeric it has no way to do that r doesn't understand language um, and doesn't have that knowledge of what these words mean so it'll just say oh that's not a number fine we'll make that missing and that's not what we want that's why we did this step initially here um, and so we'll run this now and we'll take a look again now that we've updated that and we'll see here's the age column here's the age clean column we see that the 72 is represented here as 72 but more importantly if we do str customer a data here and then hit enter we'll see that now it is a number and so we can do things like calculate an average of this new column so i can say mean customer a data dollar sign and then go to the age clean column and I'll need to use an argument. Actually, I don't think there are any missing values, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'll run this. And the average is 76.9. So we can now calculate a mean from this. If we were to try to do that with that original column, that this age column, that's actually a character because it had the 72 typed in there in term, in with the text. If I tried to do that, I'll run this. And you'll see it's like argument is not numeric or logical so it, it can't calculate an average for that column because it's a text column that's how you do that now the other thing we said we needed to fix was to fix these now i'm going to be talking about the age clean column because this is now numeric that 72 is fixed um, but we still have these problems um, 324 546 and we know that these are not these are not valid values um, we'll here assume that age is represented in years. So one of the ways I can fix that is to, again, I'll use the dplyr package and the mutate function within that. And then I'll go to the customer a data and I will manipulate the age clean column again, and I will update it. So I'm saying age clean is going to be equal to, and now I'm going to transform age clean by using this if else function which basically if you're familiar with excel you tell it a condition and if that condition is true um, it will do the thing that you specify um, and if it's not true it will do the other thing that you specify in case it's not true so here's the example so i'll say you know if age clean is greater than and we'll say that you know we don't expect any of our uh, any of the people in our sample to be over 80 so i'll say if age clean is greater than 80 then na um, and na is how r stores missing values so we'll say if age clean is greater than 80 then make age clean equal to na otherwise there's no problem so just leave it alone so i make it equal to age clean and so what this is going to tell r to do is to go through and evaluate age clean say is this greater than 80 no okay so leave it alone put the, put this value back is this greater than 80 no so forth and it'll go down here and then it'll meet this condition here 324 is greater than 80 so it'll say oh okay now i'm going to make this in a and then it'll go through and it'll keep doing that so let's take a look at that and you know, just for making it even cleaner or clearer, I'll make this new column called age clean two. So we can compare them. So, and then I'm just gonna be using the result of this to update the customer A data. So I'll hit run. Now I'll take a look at customer A data again. And you can see that we have age clean without the fixed values and then age clean next to it with the fixed values. So we can see that 324 it made it in a 546 it made it in a all these other values which were lower than 80 it left alone and so greater than is just one of these operators um, you could have also used less than so if we said you know if age clean is less than 18 make it missing maybe we know that that's not a plausible value for the for the study that we have data for here um, or we could say, you know, if it's greater than or equal to 18 um, is the condition, for example, or um, less than or equal to, that's another operator. Um, or you can say, you know, if it's specific, if it's equal to a specific value, um, then change it. So we could have said if age clean was equal, equal, 
and let's say we wanted to fix it, just the 324 value. Let's say if it's equal to 324, then make that in a otherwise leave it alone. Um, and in this case, equal equal is the operator. That means it's it's like asking, is it true that it's equal to this? Um, it's not saying, you know, if we said equal here, what this means to R is to take whatever object you have called age clean and make that equal to 324. And that's not what we want. If this video was useful and you want to learn more about how to use R for your client's data analysis needs, please subscribe.